Hey guys, welcome back to Tony's How To's. In this video, I'll be showing you how to use Proton Pass Password Manager. But before we start, hurry up and check out our data software just under this video. So let's get started. In this case, you might be wondering how do you start using Proton Pass Manager here? Which in this case, what we need to do is we need to go to the official website for Proton, which is going to be Proton.me. Now from their website, we need to access the Password Manager link here. Let's go ahead and click on it. Now from here, what we need to do is we need to actually see the pricing and the download links here. So first is going to be pricing. So at the top section, under the Pro and Pass section, you should be able to see pricing, go ahead and click on it. Now on the pricing page here, you should be able to see from the name itself, the pricing that is available on Proton Pass, which in this case, you could actually use the app itself for free. So you won't need to pay for anything. You just need to create your account. But they also have the Pass Plus here and the Proton Unlimited here. We, the Proton Unlimited here actually gives you pro, uh, access or premium access to all the subscriptions on platform itself so that includes program pass here but plus plus will give you access on the premium features for program pass now in this case this includes two-factor authentication password monitor and premium features which is gear bot sharing pass key supported and unlimited devices aliases now in this case for the free one you could basically have unlimited login notes unlimited devices pass key supported and secure sharing with two vaults but for the uh free one you don't have two-factor authentication here which is some kind of sad since uh you won't be able to leverage that so some free softwares out there actually offers two-factor authentication so in this case again you could still use proton pass here they still have offers those uh juicy uh juicy features here so in this case let's go ahead and use the free one here let's go ahead and click on proton free and we now need to create our account so in this case, let's go ahead and create our account by typing in our email address as well as a password that we want to use. So in this case, let's go ahead and fill out those details and click on start using Proton Pass, Pass now. Now, once you've created your account or once you've logged in, it should show you the Get Proton Pass for Chrome option. Let's go ahead and click on this one so you'll be able to download the actual extension for that specific app. So in this case, let's go ahead and click on Add to Chrome here. Click on Add Extension and that should actually install the app or extension into our Chrome. In this case, let's just wait for it to fully load up. Now in this case, as you can see, we have the Proton Pass um, Password Manager UI in here. So this case is going to welcome you to new password manager here. So in this case, it would actually pin or it's going to actually allow you to, or ask you to pin your extension. So for example, we have Proton Pass here at the top, right? Go ahead and click on the uh, puzzle icon here. Click on the pin so you'll be able to access it immediately whenever you need it. Now in this case, once you've uh, done that, just click on done. And from here, let's go ahead and click on connect your Proton account since you've, if you already created one or if you haven't, go ahead and create one here. So in this case, I'm going to connect my account here. It's going to load up Proton, my account here, and it's going to say the extension is now ready to use. Now in this case, at the right side here, you have the option to switching to Proton Pass. So if you're previously using, like for example, a password manager before and you want to transfer your details or your passwords into Proton Pass, you can go and click on import your passwords here. Now you should also show you some short uh, tutorial here, getting started section for Proton Pass. But in this case, let's go and get started using it by clicking on the Proton icon at the top right. Now, in this case, since my vault is actually pretty empty here, so let me just empty my UI in here just to give you an idea of it. So in this case, uh, let's go and open it up. So in this case, we have the following options. So we have create a login, create hide my email aliases, create a credit card, create an encrypted note, or import passwords. Again, if you already have a password on a different software, you can go ahead and import them by the import passwords. So for example, we want to create a new login. Let's go and click on create a login here. And we now need to fill out the details needed here. Like for example, the title for it. So for example, I'm going to give you an example for like for example for Facebook. So let's go ahead and just type in Facebook here. And the username. So the username is, for example, is going to be uh, the following, which is going to be email at email.com. Now the password, let's go ahead and enter our password. So just give the example, I'm going to say one, two, three here. So in this case, it's going to say if it's actually pretty secure or not, but yeah. So in this case, if you're using the first two-factor secret key, OOTOTP here, you can go ahead and add them. 
but again uh, this is for premium features but again let's go ahead and skip this one since we are not using it so we have the free websites here so in this case I'm going to say this for going to be for facebook.com if you want to add notes you can go and add them like for example just for tagging purposes or for, uh, for future reference but once you've done that, what we need to do is just click on create login at the top right. And as you can see, we now have a logged in. Now in this case, as you can see, this is the UI that we have or the vault that we have right now. Now, by the way, at the top left, you should be able to see your account or your account details. That includes your email, your current plan right now. So if you want to upgrade, this is how you upgrade by clicking on the upgrade button here. You have the votes that you have on your account. So we have all votes, personal, or even trash here. Now, we also have the pass monitor. If you want to change a few things on your settings, you should be able to access your settings here and change a few things like the general options here and the auto suggests, pass keys, see pass keys are to the gate with pass keys and displays here. So, yeah, so you can change a few things here like your security, if you want to import or export your account, if you want to manage your account, even support, if you want to contact support and report a problem regarding your account here. But yeah, let's go ahead and go back into the app itself. Now, another thing you can do here is uh, using the advanced options here, which in this case generate passwords. So for example, if you don't know how to uh, get a very secure password, you can actually use the uh, password generator that you, that you have here. So you should be able to see the previously generated passwords. And we also have the option for manually sync your data if you want to and open a, a new, win new window if you want to further view it in a re really bigger screen. As you can see right now, we are viewing it in a larger screen right now, which is something really cool. Now, in this case, uh, if you want to add a new one into your account here, so by the way, uh, if you want to customize or create new vaults, so vaults are going to be from the name of vaults will contain into specific data. Like for example, if you want to create a new vault for your work, so I'm so just an example, I'm going to create a work vault here. Uh, let's just say work vault. And you could set whatever options or uh, UI or icon for it. So for example, this is going to be an orange one and let's go ahead and click on create vault. Now this will contain different uh, information depending on what vault I'm using. So in this case, I could choose personal since I added my Facebook here, or I could switch over to uh, my work vault here. So if you want, if I want to contain like passwords for my work. So this is a great way for you to organize and really specify which details, which passwords are actually for that specific account or for its intended use. So let's go back to our personal here, but the usage are going to be pretty much the same thing here. So whenever you click on something here at the right side, it's going to show you the details that you've entered in here, like the created date, the websites for it, the password, and the usernames. If you want to create another one, just click on the plus button. Now in this case, if you want to create an alias, you could go and click on alias here. And from here, you could basically add your title. So for example, maybe I want to say it is going to be Mr. Smith here. And from here, it's going to give you like, for example, your precise about to create is going to be uh, the following and forwards to in the notes if you want to. So once you've done that, let's go and click on create alias here and we've just created a new uh, alias here. So in this case, uh, we also have the option to add cards here, but this case, this feature is actually turned off so you won't be able to uh, access this on the free plan. But again, you could access the node option here. For example, this uh, node feature is allows you to save passwords for your Wi-Fi or any passcodes that you have at home. So it's a great way to still keep your password just in case that you forget them. But yeah, so you can also choose which vault you want to save this and the title of yourself and the actual note that you want to keep. So for example, it's going to be a secret one and it's going to be the note. Let's go and click on create note and as you can see, uh, you should be able to see the actual contents and the title itself. Now you can also go to the password section here, which in this case allows you to create your password. So you could choose how many words it has. So in this case, uh, we have the uh, type of password here. We have random password. We also have the memorable password, uh, capitalize if you want to allow those. If you want to access advanced options like the type or hyphens, if you want to uh, use spaces, periods or commas or numbers itself or numbers and symbols. We also have the password history if you want to view the previously generated ones. In this case, you can go and generate by clicking on the generate or regenerate option here. And yeah, so in this case, uh, those are the main features that you could access here on Proton Pass. 
So it's actually pretty, uh, pretty free. So it's actually free. You could use it immediately without paying for anything. But again, if you're just using the free options here, uh, the full features will not be available to you, like two-factor authentication, which is another way to secure your account. But yeah, so those are the basics and how to install it, how to use it immediately, and that's about it. So if you found this video helpful, hit the like and subscribe button and watch our next video.